This first technique that we want to cover from the half guard is how to use what we call a switch to take your opponent's back. We're going to show from a couple different angles, but this is a great way to set up uh, kind of, you can set up either the grapevine grip with this, or you can set up a way to take your opponent's back. It starts out the same way. So we're in our half guard, and what we're going to do is we're going to create space using either of the methods that, uh, that you like that we showed out of our creating space videos. And what we want to do is bring one leg up and in, and we're going to hook into kind of like a spider guard, but for no gi. We want to hold the back of the elbow, because if we hold the wrist, he's just going to pull his hand straight out from behind it, and we're going to lose the entire position. So we want to hold the back of the elbow, pushing up with the knee, down with the uh, pulling down on the elbow, and we're kind of working here. You can't sit here long because your opponent will pass your half guard. He's still working too. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll take my back leg, which you can't feel, and I'll drape it over his leg so that I can hook on to his leg. Now, from here, we're here. What we want to do, take this hand, drive it in and hook right behind the shoulder, okay? When we hook behind the shoulder, we're going to give one big bump with the knee. We're going to pull it in tight, give one big bump, and then we're going to let go with one hand and kind of steer it, okay? Once you get this position right here, you can slide down to the wrist if you like. Uh, personal preference, it doesn't matter. So we're here, we've locked this, hooked. Once we're hooked, sliding down, one big bump. Now, left hand steers his hand across my body, right hand pulls the entire arm, okay? So when I'm here, I, I've got my hook set, grab, slide down, all in one motion, bump, slide down. You're taking his back. All in one motion, this is what it looks like. We're in the half guard, we've bumped, we've created some space, we've got this. Can't stay here long, so we slide out. Now you can come up and start working your opponent's back. We're in our half guard, we create space however you want. We get one knee up and in. A lot of times I like to bring my knee in, not, not straight down across here, because now you're going to get caught, he's going to pass. I'll bring it in and put it right on his hip, and my knee going to his center line. Now I can use that to kick and control him a little bit. In this situation, we're going to bring that knee up and out, about to the bend of his elbow, kind of across his bicep, which is pretty uncomfortable, by the way. Notice that I've hooked this leg over. Now when I'm here, that, this is because if I don't, if my leg's here, he's just going to cross out. He'll step on my leg and then cross out beside me, and now I've lost the half guard altogether. So we're going to drape this leg over and be pinching it in. We've got this. We're pushing out. Hook. Slide down. Give one good bump toward the ceiling. We're pulling ourselves around. One more time from a different angle. We've created space in our half guard however you want. We're going to switch our legs. Leg curling here. Now, when, when I create this space, I bring one knee in and then bring it out. Notice I'm not just waiting on his arm to be way out here so that I can bring it in. Uh, if you're waiting on that, you're probably going to be waiting a while. Your opponent's going to have his arms in here. I mean, he's in a fight too. So you create a space. I bring it to his chest or to his center line and then swing it out. Now, when I've swung it out, grabbing, sliding down, all in one motion, a bump toward the ceiling, and then sucking his arm in underneath me with this hand. Bump, coming around. Now, from here, obviously, you've got a lot of different options that you can start working over your opponent's back with but that's, that's what it's supposed to look like. Working over to your opponent's back, getting a choke. It's another way you can attack your opponent from the half guard using what we call a switch. 